name is Joaquin Pena. I'm director of revenue of Swiftly. We are a big data platform exclusively focused for public transportation. We help both public transport authorities and public transport operators make great sense of the data, both in real time, make sure ETAs to passengers are accurate, are complete, are accessible, and also that they are service disruptions aware, so we don't leave passengers unattended at bus stops. And then our second greatest value proposition is using historical data to improve service reliability and service efficiency. So how can we deliver more service with the same budget or how can we deliver the same service with less budget? And our overall purpose is to make cities move more efficiently. I believe the greatest challenges I see widespread in many regions, uh, let it be Europe, Middle East, uh, Latin America, um, and of course North America, is data. I think we are overloaded with data, but it's really important to hone in into data accessibility, data completeness, and data accuracy. Without data, we cannot ensure that transport is sustainable, but also interoperable between different cities, between different countries. And I think understanding how can we better leverage existing data to take more meaningful decisions is a key challenge that the industry is facing right now. I think environments such as this one enabled by mobility data are great because it gathers not only data producers, but also data consumers. Uh, and it enables us to, to speak about all these challenges um, we are facing. I think the importance of data standards is that it helps to foster innovation, to accelerate uh, time to market, to many of the new innovations that each day are accelerating in, in growth. Uh, and data standards are the means to achieve this end. I think right now there's a critical debate, I would say, which is positive. Standards are better than no standards, but right now we have the more traditional conception of using GTFS, GTFS real time as a passenger information standard and how from a European perspective and European regulation, NetEx and Siri are being more widely adopted. So it's a good and challenging time to be here and understanding from different actors how can we shape this world together. The key challenge, I believe, is exactly how can we make standards more usable, more standards. There's even a funny way of seeing that, do we need a standard for the standards? I think this is the key challenge. But if we really understand uh, with the passenger in mind, I think that's what we should all care. The end user, what do they care? And how do we optimize the standards for the use case and not for the standards in itself? I think that's the path to go. I think. Uh, NetEx and Siri are much more complex in, in the good sense, they are much more complete and can enable us to undergo many more uh, use cases that we could before. But it's also a matter of fact, how can we make that an efficient path and really focus on the end passenger in mind. I think the role of GTFS uh, is key in terms of um, providing a really accessible and fast way of connecting data producers to the end users, regardless of what mode of transportation they are using, and specifically one critical information, which is the estimate time of arrival, the real-time information, is one of the most required information the passengers um, in well-documented studies uh, relate, that it will be the best way to, to increase the use of transportation. So I think GTFS, GTFS real-time is a great way of streamlining the data from data producers to data consumers and ensuring data accessibility, data completeness, and data accuracy. Mobility Data is a great organization. We are proud of being members. I think it shapes the way the industry, uh, from an unselfish way, focuses on the real benefits of passenger information. So regardless data producers, we all have our own agenda, our own benefits and value proposition we want to have. But I think an organization such as Mobility Data makes sure that every organization in the ecosystem is aligned on producing well standardized and well accessible data. So I think an organization such as Mobility Data is key for the industry and it also helps us think ahead of time and thinks what are the challenges that we are going to um, face later 
but as well how can we bring different countries, different regions, different learnings of already implemented use cases that sometimes on our day to day as a data producer or data consumer we are not well aware. So organizations such as this are key for the development of sustainable transport. What I value the most about being a member of the mobility data community is enablement. So it really helps us learn continuously how can we better leverage the existing tools, the existing data standards in order to make more meaningful and sustainable transport. And second and foremost, I really enjoy the proactiveness and how we are they're always thinking ahead of time and making sure that we are not only solving the challenges for today, but we are thinking of the challenges and opportunities of tomorrow. My favorite mode of transportation is definitely the bus. I like watching where I'm going through the streets and the city. But if I had to choose probably a more personal mode of transportation it would be the horse. Back in my country in Uruguay, we used to ride horse a lot and that's great. I don't think it's an efficient way of moving through a city, but it's definitely my, my favorite.